from Tuesday next week, only Kenyans with the Social Health Authority SHA number will be treated at public hospitals. No NHIF card will be accepted as the government enforces the transition from the National Health Insurance Fund to SHA. But besides the new name and number, what else will change from the 1st of October? And just how exactly will this new health cover work? And TV's David Modoka tells you all about SHA, SHIF, and everything else you need to know about how your health will be covered from next week. Exit NHIF, enter SHA. The new Social Health Authority will take effect on 1st October, which is next Tuesday, replacing the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF. SHA registration is currently ongoing with employees who receive pay slips being registered by their employers while Kenyans who are not formally employed are required to dial star 147 hash on their phones or visit the www.sha.go.ke website or visit SHA offices to register. Upon registration, Members will contribute 2.75% of their gross monthly income to the Social Health Authority after every month. Those who cannot will be identified during registration using a means testing tool. Unlike the National Health Insurance Fund that had one fund, SHA will comprise of three health funds, namely Social Health Insurance Fund Shift, the Primary Health Care Fund, and the Emergency, Chronic and Critical Illness Fund. Mothers are set to gain more from SHA, which has reintroduced former First Lady Margaret Kenyatta's Linda Mama package that had been scrapped off by President William Ruto two years ago. The package is back bigger and better, with government set to reimburse hospitals 10,000 shillings for normal delivery and 30,000 shillings for C-section delivery from October 1st. New medical services that were not covered by NHIF that are set to be offered from October 1st under SHA include optical services with patients now set to start receiving eye health education and counseling, eye examination, basic eye medication and corrective glasses with their SHA numbers. Dental services too will be offered to someone with a SHA number but from next year. The SHA number will cover extractions, scaling and management of infections unlike the NHIF card that did not cover any dental services. Another service not in NHIF and which patients will also have to wait for another year to get to the SHA cover is cancer screening. Cancers that will be screened through SHA include breast, colon, cervix and prostate cancers. Other medical services will be cheaper in the SHA era such as renal care services with the SHA cover set to provide 85,200 shillings to cater for peritoneal dialysis up from 76,200 shillings currently. Other medical services will still be offered even to Kenyans who have not registered under SHA or registered but have not updated their payments such as emergency treatment and evacuation. Just by being registered and not paying anything, Kenyans will be able to access service in primary health care facilities. This is dispensaries and health centers, whether they are privately owned, owned by faith-based organizations, all owned by government. Top SHA officials continue to drum up support for the Social Health Authority while appealing to Kenyans to rush and beat the Monday next week registration deadline. About 30% of our bills in hospitals are paid out of pocket. And out of pocket is where we do the harambees that we do, is where people sell their property at throwaway prices, etc. This is what we want to get rid of. With the introduction of three new funds under the Social Health Authority on Tuesday next week, the government has an opportunity to address the gaps that the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF, could not address. But the question on the minds of many Kenyans is, will it? David Muthoka, NTV, Nairobi.